Hello everyone and welcome to both the learning droid and the gaming droid. So this is going to be a recording on both setups. Um, this is using the new microphone, this is the unboxing. I bought myself a, or I should say a uh, person bought me for Christmas a USB microphone that ended up not working with my Windows setup. So it was returned and using that money I bought myself a BM800 uh, microphone. There's been a few complaints about the uh, microphone wind cover uh, smelling but I had no problems with mine. It comes with a really nicely done um, microphone collar grip um, and shock stand or shock, uh, shock reducer. Uh, I haven't been able to use that yet because unfortunately that is um, a 5 8 inch thread and my microphone stand is a 3 8 inch thread so I've uh, purchased myself a converter that's coming in the, pay in the mail soon. Um, this is just going to be a quick comparison video. It's going to have some gameplay footage of a video game in the background, um, but it's going to go up on both my channels, Learning Droid and Gaming Droid, just to show you guys uh, my upgrade to my audio setup that I'm going to be using for recording things. Um, I'm using, instead of a shock stand, I'm using a um, what's called a cable shock, where basically you hang the cable through a loop. It puts a little bit of stress on the cable, but the XLR cables are quite sturdy and the microphone's quite light. I don't want to be keeping it like this for a long time, but um, when my converter comes here, I'll be able to convert to the standard shock stand. Um, it's got a nice um, firm grip. People say that's rattly on top. I haven't experienced that. Um, it comes with a decent quality cable. It comes with an XLR to 3.5 cable, but here's the thing. It's a condensed microphone, so it doesn't work properly unless you give it a power supply. Um, plugging it into a 3.5 isn't going to give it a power supply. Um, so I bought myself a, a newer 100, NW100 power supply. It's a 48 volt phantom power supply and it comes with an XLR cable to XLR cable which you use to plug it into the microphone to provide power. It comes with a power connection for itself and it comes with a little um, power supply box which is sitting in front of me on my desk. The power supply box has now been on for about an hour and it's still ice cold so I have no concerns about it heating up over usage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to uh, some gameplay footage in a couple of minutes once I've shown you the stand I bought, and um, we'll have a comparison. The first bit of gameplay footage is going to be using my old audio setup, which is um, uh, HP High Definition uh, Internet Audio headset, which is about five years old. Um, it's also going to have the post-production elements in it, um, and then I'm going to do a section without post-production elements. So this is the stand. It's a pretty basic double arm stand. So it has the thread at the top. This is the 3 8 inch thread that doesn't fit my machine. Um, I'm going to buy a converter and put it, put the collar on. At the moment, it's actually got that extender on that you see there that I just took off with the cable hanging through that and cable tied in. Uh, that's the connector that's connecting it to my desk. It's got standard four spring array to keep itself in place along with a um, grip holder on the bars. So on to the gameplay footage. Okay, so this is going to be the recording of the um, audio from my headset uh, with post-editing. I'll then do a recording of the audio from my headset um, without post-editing, and then I'll show you the recordings from the BM800 by Everesta. So we'll just do a quick match here with editing, and then I'll probably do uh, half the match without editing as well. I'll give you a call for that. But as you can see, like... This is a USB headset microphone. Uh, the issue I've been Three, having with two, USB microphones one, is that um, actual USB microphones don't actually allow me to uh, basically produce any... ...produce any sound that is reasonable volume. Um, it's a known problem with certain Windows 10 computers, is that with certain Windows 10 computers you're just not producing enough volume with your audio. Huh. So the issue is that the volume with the audio is just not loud enough or clear enough. Um, 
headset mics kind of cancel out this because the microphone is so much close to your mouth but even then with this in post editing I'm adding 10 decibels I've got all my levels turned up to maximum and I'm adding 10 decibels as well as equalizing afterwards to get rid of the background hiss that adding 10 decibels gives you so I think we'll end that recording there um, I'll have done now what I'll do is I'll actually so this is with post editing what I'll do is I'll do sort of a couple of seconds talking from now without post editing so you can see that without post editing my voice is pretty much silent there's there's almost no volume and this is with all the pre-editing um, levels turned up to maximum maximum input um, so this is what a USB headset sounds like a USB microphone sounds even worse and in fact often has no volume at all okay everyone so this is me with the uh, BM800 with a um, pre-production increase in volume using the analog audio volume adjustments nothing is turned up to maximum like this is probably bearing in mind with my headset everything um, was turned up to maximum pre-production and um, everything post-production was uh, ramped up as well uh, this is with everything pre-production about sort of like we're talking 30 percent um, now admittedly with an analog microphone you can do a lot more uh, you can do a lot more pre-production but this is the um, microphone pre-production about 30% um, and I'm going to do again this will be with post-production as well and then I'll add in a without post-production section at the end so with post-production it's going to cut off a lot of the uh, background hiss and things although I have to admit I haven't found a lot of background hiss in this particular um, this particular microphone I have got the wind cover on but I don't have a pop filter yet um, it came with a wind cover some people have complained about the smell to be honest my wind cover didn't smell at all so I don't see what uh, where people are coming from with that but um, it does have a wind cover that comes with it and I'm using the wind cover to cut down on the uh, pop and hiss so this is it with post-production and now I'm going to switch over to it without post-production so this is going to be the same pre-production stats of volume echo reduction and noise cancellation which is about 30% settings uh, which again much easier to set with analog microphones than USB microphones because um, my audio card is just set up better for analog microphones than the USB microphones and Windows 10 doesn't like um, USB microphones in general So without the um, post-production this is going to have a little bit more crackle, a little bit more hiss to it, but it's not going to be as bad as the um, headset microphone. The headset microphone is going to have a lot worse um, crackle and hiss with it. So this has been the um, comparison of my previous audio setup which was a HP um, 24 high, high definition stream audio and chat set uh, which was a five-year-old headset and for a five-year-old 20 quid headset not bad at all um, compared with a 20 pound microphone 20 pound phantom power supply and microphone stand um, which is the BM800 you can get it from a couple of different manufacturers So, thank you all for watching. This is going to be the first of my videos that's posted, uh, being hosted on both my channels, The Learning Droid and The Gaming Droid. Um, it's going to be a first gaming video over on The Learning Droid, and probably the only gaming video over on The Learning Droid. But I'm going to be doing some more pyrography, some more BSL, some story work, etc. with The Learning Droid. And I'm going to be doing more gaming, of course, with The Gaming Droid. So, for if those of you who are interested in sort of cross-pollinating the two channels, um, this has been The Learning Droid, which is The Learning Droid 
on YouTube, www.youtube.com slash the learning droid, and the gaming droid, which is www.youtube.com slash the gaming droid 9000, because there have been 8,999 gaming droids before me. Thank you all for watching. I hope uh, my new audio setup is actually going to be really good. Um, and I will see you all in the next video, whichever channel you happen to be watching. Come on, die, 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 die. No, I'm not actually that violent. But, come on, I want to win. Come on, I want to win. No, 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 no. Yes, victory. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.